Welcome back to Final Fantasy V! So, last time, we went through the Pyramid of Moor and got our first seal all done with. Uh, we also rescued Lena, who was briefly dipped into the Void and rescued by Hyryu. Uh, however, she was possessed in her time in the Void, and unfortunately, Hyryu did have to sacrifice himself in order to get out Melusine, uh, who we fought and defeated. And so, yeah, now Lena's back, and we've got her full team again. Also worthy of note, of course, is the fact that X-Death came in, said, Mwahaha, I see you're trying to work with that turtle. I'm just gonna send him to the Void, too. And unfortunately, we don't have a big fancy dragon to get him out of this mess, so... That's where the Library Ancients was, and now it isn't. So, just to the north is Sergate Castle. And they do actually have a bit of a reaction to the Library of the Ancients disappearing. Apparently, though, some people did actually make it out. I don't know how. <laughs> it's not everyone, though. So yeah, this is how uh, you aren't permanently screwed out of reading the sealed tome, if you really need it. Uh, the, the guy did make it out all the way over here. So yeah, now this castle's actually just a big house for refugees and the leftover knights, considering uh, their king is fucking dead now. I like how that guard said most of the scholars made it over, but there were only three scholars there. Uh, yeah, I... If I remember correctly, I did check out some of the other castle, at least some of the library, and... Yeah, there really aren't that many more NPCs, so... Uh, yeah. We did lose a lot of scholars. I'm guessing most of the people who... weren't towards the front were probably taken. The guy with the sealed tome... Uh, was probably very quick. He's very excited about reading that tome, you see. Alright, countdown to eruption. Here it goes. We're gonna see Oracle do something. Just gonna soften everybody up, up in the meantime. In these active time battle games, you very rarely get skills like this. It's always the bosses that get the skills that count down like that. And I think you pretty effectively demonstrated why you never get skills like that. Yeah, so thank you, AIM, for making the uh, Blood Blade easier to hit with. And yeah, no, now we didn't get to see it. <laughs> uh, for similar effects, please play Cyan in Final Fantasy VI. At some point, you're just going to have to deliberately not do anything in a fight except use Oracle. <laughs> mm hmm. See, the nice thing about that move, at least, is it can be used on bosses. <laughs> or wait, sorry. No, no, that, that, that was prediction, sorry. Actually, no, I think, it, I think that was the uh, other... I get them mixed up so much. I think I did use the one that can be used on bosses. <laughs> you can tell how effective Oracle is by the fact that I cannot fucking remember it doing anything. <laughs> Oh, now this looks like a final dungeon. They said I was mad for trying to control the Void. Well, guess who's getting his degree in the Void? Me! I don't know what everyone was talking about. This was really easy, actually. That wasn't hard at all, there's nobody even trying. Most of us don't want to destroy the world next death, ah! Alright, so there goes Waltz. Uh, goodbye Shiva if you never got her. Hey, remember Final Fantasy 2? Yeah, I do. I forgot this was in this game. <laughs> yeah, no, we're at the point where uh, the world map gets real fucked up. Like, I do appreciate that they showed the castle and the town getting voided. Oh, and there goes a chocobo forest, too. 
Yes. Oh, sorry. No, oh. Wilbur Forest. Oh, right. Yeah. They just live in the mountains now. But yeah, there goes the mascot. <laughs> One final Koopo for the road. Oh, yeah. No, it also says Krill as it goes. Just to really kick you further. Oh, and there's Bart's hometown. So yeah, uh, this is here to demonstrate that absolutely nobody is safe in the event of the void happening. Oh no, Bart's his childhood friend. Bart's, I choose to blame you for this. All right, so Bart's, upon seeing the destruction of his hometown, gets incredibly mad and starts <laughs> piling the airship around. You ever get so mad that you drive around the entire planet? Let's see, I think we're about the third loop. Oh my god, is he building up speed? Fourth loop. Almost to a fifth loop, god. So yeah... We do not normally get moments like this with Bart's. He's usually the calm, collected one, but yeah, no, he is pissed. For some reason, I thought he was trying to build up speed so he could, like, ram something really hard. Yeah, so you would think that would, like, unlock some function of the airship or, like, allow us access to the final area or something, but no... That was just a moment of pure blind rage that accomplished nothing. So yeah, now everybody is understandably terrified because, like, half the world just got eaten. <laughs> Better not get clo too close to the castle down south. Town's got the best <laughs> brew in the whole world! <laughs> you should try a glass considering we're all gonna die! They didn't update my dialogue. I think everybody should drink now. Alright, so... Uh, today is actually going to be the Extras Day, starting with the Ribbon in Regale. Uh, yeah, so if you specifically approach the girl from the Hidden Routes in World 3, you are given a free Ribbon, which of course is the thing that blocks status ailments and is incredibly useful. So much so that some... Uh, things do actually have, or, uh, some classes do have a specific Equip Ribbons ability, uh, which I don't think is terribly useful. I think it's just better to wait overall uh, until you use Freelancer to start equipping that stuff. But, you know, it's there because Ribbons are very good. Yeah, the Ribbon is the best accessory in every game it appears in. More or less, yeah. Like, you can make an argument that some things might also be very useful, like the gold hairpin having MP is very good. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, Ribbon just blocks status effects, which means uh, anything that tries to status you is uh, not going to find you actually dying, as they'd intended. They're similar items in some Saga games, and they're, like, indispensable there. Anyways, Magic Lamp. So yes, the Magic Lamp is a special item. Uh, I'm not going to show it off this episode, uh, but I will show it off soon enough. It is a weird one that kind of helps if you don't really want to put anything into Summoner, but you still want the summons. Uh, it has every summon in the game in it. Even if you don't have said summon yet, it will summon it. However, it will use them in descending order. So it will start with the last one on the list, and then go all the way down to Chocobo. So, essentially, you get kind of limited uses of it. Uh, the order is set, so if you know the order, the summons appear, and you can kind of work around that. But it's not terribly useful if you just have some... Well, it is free MP-wise, of course, but uh, yeah, I, it's kind of just better to summon. <laughs> it's, not, it's better than call, because you have some control over it. Uh, and if you're wondering, you can recharge it. Uh, one of the methods is to simply return to the waterfall where you obtained it. From desire, oft times comes evil. Very important, old man. 
Alright, so, hey, next off we have a hidden item. I've said repeatedly in the game, um, I'm kind of dumb for never running from a fight. And we're going to see the reason why right here. Before us lie two boxes. One only lies, one only tells the truth. Uh, no, so... Uh, if you're brave, take from the crate on the left. If you're a coward, take from the one on the right. I'm going to be taking the one on the left because I've never run from a fight. This is the brave blade. And, oh no, the old man was a skeleton <laughs> all along and he's making chicken... I, I chose the brave blade, you dick. No, that's the sound bones, mate. So anyway... Uh, the Brave Blade is a weapon that is incredibly powerful, uh, one of the strongest in the game. Like, that is some amazing attack power. However, in most versions of the game, other than, I think, the recent Pixel remasters, uh, if you run at all, you have made the Brave Blade worse. Uh, and it will continue getting worse the more fights you run from. Of course, the weapon in the crate on the right is the exact opposite. That is the chicken knife, and it is probably what most players will choose, because, again, it gets stronger the more you run from fights, so... If you ever run from a fight, it is kind of the better choice, because then you can just run from more fights and make it stronger. Of course, technically speaking, I believe the chicken knife actually has a lower overall attack power, like... It at its strongest isn't as good as the Brave Blade as its strongest, but again, until at least the Pixel remasters, it's kind of just better to uh, assume you're probably going to run at some points and just deal with that. <laughs> uh, so next on the list is the Phantom Village. Uh, the Phantom Village appears in World 3. It initially looks like a random battle, but if you're on that forest, yeah, it's gonna be this village, actually. So, this is the village with the incredibly ominous theme. This whole place is just very spooky. But essentially, when... the void was sealed away... This town also got sealed away, too. Whoops, that sucks for them. So, they're able to move around now, because essentially, the Phantom Village has also leaked into, uh, the actual world. If we were visiting this place in the Rift somehow, then it would be a different story. But yeah, I do really love this village as a concept. It's really cool and Hello. <laughs> there he goes. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, this place is so weird. Uh, but anyway, yeah, cool concept for a village. I feel very bad for everybody who lives here, just being the collateral of having to seal the void away within the rift. It's got some decent items, though. Probably one of the best shops we'll be seeing. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> loser. Stupid Anyo thinks he's hot shit. Alright, let's see. The weapons are... okay. I don't know if I've ever picked up a hammer in this game, to be entirely honest. What classes can even use the hammer? Uh, off the top of my head, I'm pretty sure White Mage can, because that's usually the class that can use hammers, but... Usually I just use staves when I'm a White Mage. Can Berserkers use hammers? I don't think so. The weird thing about hammers is you usually associate them with being like the, the big strong weapons. Sources of a lot of blunt force trauma, but... Honestly, uh, yeah, in the Final Fantasy series, typically they're one of the weaker weapons, and they're just the ones that, like, mages can use. Yeah, that's, uh, it's because of the D&D &D influence. In D&D, &D, clerics aren't allowed to use bladed weapons because they draw blood. 
so they use <laughs> sorry the checkbook got me uh so they're the ones that use hammers mm -hmm. you can cause blunt force trauma you just can't draw blood all right so there's actually a hidden magic shop that sells some of the best magics in the game so yeah, let's see, we've got Arise and Dispel, uh, Death and Osmos, Osmos is really good, Quick and Banish, which are less good. Uh, I also use this time to check over the rest of the magic lists. We're really close to getting all of the magic, though I think I'm gonna have to look up a guide for some of these songs, because I'm missing three of them. And Dark Arts, I haven't even fucking touched Necromancer yet. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> Somebody needs to help that Chocobo. <laughs> He's freaking out so much. He's in a beer panic. Like, this is near Crescent Island, or, you know, it's not really an island anymore. So, like, I assume that's just where the Chocobo forest normally is. Like, this weird-ass phantom village just appeared out of nowhere for the poor guy. Hopefully he can leave, otherwise he's going to be drawn back into this town when all this is over. He's experiencing urbanization at, like, an absurd rate. Oh, poor guy can't take it. Alright, so... Ooh, nice. Free heal. Alright, so we've heard that there is a hidden piano in this town. Uh, this guy's also going to tell us that every shop has... A secret hidden merchant, which sells you better stuff than, uh, the actual merchants. He doesn't say that, but it's implied. Like, here's the shuriken house. Not a good strategy for making money. Well, I mean, I don't think it matters much to these guys anymore. <laughs> they don't experience linear, linear time as we all do. Uh, we also had a request from a man who asked us to... Don't know what the hell that's about. Uh, a man asked us to ride all the way around the world on a yellow chocobo and oh ho ho! Hello, final piano. Prepare to get played. You have mastered the <laughs> piano. All others quake in fear at your superhuman keyboard manipulation skill. Ferris has mastered the piano. Nobody is better than her. Gonna make all the ladies swoon with her piano skills. So you might be wondering, what does that unlock? It unlocks something, but we don't know what that is just yet. The final piano song should have just been playing Chopsticks. Should have been Freebird. <laughs> should have been Rush E. All right, well, enough of that. <laughs> All right, so... Yeah, it's time to fulfill that one guy's request and ride around the world on a yellow chocobo. Oh my god. Yeah, so, hyperspeeding this, I guess the cool thing about this mini-quest is the fact that, like, it does indicate to you that, technically speaking, you can go anywhere on the world map. It's all connected now. It's all, more or less, one big continent. So how I went about this is, I did go back to the Phantom Village first, and I used that as my start point. Uh, to basically just make sure that that guy said, yeah, no, I definitely did this. I don't know if you have to be as exacting as I am here. Uh, I don't know if you have to basically treat this like a maze and hug the corners, but I made damn sure to not have any reason to doubt that I've gone around the entire world on a chocobo. <laughs> I like to think that Bartz isn't commanding Boko to do this. <laughs> Boko's just like, what the fuck do you mean I, want I have to go all the way around the world? No, Boko just started doing this on their own. Bartz and the others are chasing after him, trying to stop him. Also, you might be wondering, uh, why didn't I include the magic lamp, uh, in this section, uh, since I'm going around the world anyway and I had to go to the waterfall? Well, the reason is, I wanted to make two cuts and set the speed to either 300 or 500, I forget what it was, but either way, I didn't want to have to have something important happen in the middle of this. <laughs> 
I, I just wanted to, to set this and let it be its own thing. <laughs> Boko's still fucking going. <laughs> I know it would be too much work, but I just keep imagining you editing in like a sprite of Bart's running just behind him. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely not. Just put that in, edit in running in the 90s, Chocobo edition. All right, there we go. I don't know why we didn't just lie to this man, but whatever. Boko would have ratted us out. All right, motherfucker. <laughs> You're nuts! <laughs> Wait, you actually did the thing I said? Okay, whatever. Sure. Here's the Mirage Vest. All right, so the Mirage Vest is a special item that actually starts you in a battle with Blink. So you basically just get to evade one physical attack for free. On top of whatever other dodges you might have. Like, if the Elven Mantle procs first, you don't lose your blink. Y you can just keep the double image. It's fine. So yeah, uh, evasion tanking is pretty viable. Anyway, you don't need to see me heading back here. I, ju I just cut back. <laughs> We're done. We're done with Chocobo. I mean, okay, look. At some point, I kind of want to see if I can bring uh, Boko back to the pirate hideout, or, you know, at least to its doorstep, but, uh... For the time being... Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna go... Leave. <laughs> I'm, I'm done with Boko for now. I kept that battle in because I thought it'd be funny to show me styling on those bats. They do not edit the enemies in this cave. However, you do want to come back to the pirate hat out because of this scene. Okay, so, like, the implication of this right here is that Krill can, uh, also see the spirit of Sildra. Uh, being the sixth ranger and all, they do have to, like, very quickly give Krill, you know, reasons to be friends with everybody, so we kind of have this relationship between her and Ferris of being able to see the spirit of Sildra. But I do also like the potential interpretation of she doesn't and she's just, you know, trying to help Ferris. I mean, they've already established that Krill has psychic powers. She can telepathically communicate with the Moogles. And she has also seen uh, Gallop's spirit, which nobody in the party saw that. And you did make her the Oracle. Either way, though, uh, Sildra's ghost is definitely there, though. Uh, it's one of the summons. So yeah, this is absolutely a thing you might potentially miss out on. Because why would you come back to the pirate hideouts? Is that why you made Ferris the summoner? Actually, yes. If I remember correctly, I think I coincidentally made Ferris the summoner in my first playthrough. But yeah, no, since then, I always make Ferris the summoner. It is the most impact impactful for her personally to have the scene. And in general, kind of the... The fact that she is friends with uh, Sildra in the first place, I think, makes her the, the best candidate, or one of the better ones, to uh, be able to have, like, summoned monsters, I guess. I guess you could also make the case for Lena as well. I feel like Hyrie is, like, less monstrous than the other summons, in a way. I feel like part of, part of Ferris is just like, yeah, no, she was best friends with a big sea monster. I think she has one of the stronger connections. But yeah, that is mainly for that cutscene, because everybody else has some animal connections to a certain extent. Lena's got the dragon. Girl has Moogles. Bart says, uh, Boko. Though, to be fair, 
Boko is literally the only animal that even remotely tolerates Bart's. All others hate him because he keeps annoying them. Bart's cannot stop himself from poking wild animals. Don't know what that's about. Anyway. So that's all of our business in the pirate hideout, which I believe means we're actually just about done with this one. All that's left to do is to go to the sealed castle, which, as it so happens, is right here. And hey, somehow these guys made it out. Everybody wants to read the damn book, but no. Alright, well, I guess you left Castle Tycoon without your princess, which... To be fair, she probably would have asked him to do that. Lena's absolutely the most self-sacrificial person in any radius. <laughs> Even when she really doesn't have to be. Alright, so yeah. Here's just another group of people who will try to help you figure out, like, Hey, what could they be talking about? Well, what are all these hints in the book supposed to be? Where do you need to go to unseal this thing? Which, you know, is helpful because we are at the sealed hall. And now, at last, we can use one of these tablets. It will not free specific weapons. It allows you to choose three weapons. Bards, you're so lucky. <laughs> There's no turtles around to make fun of you for stating the obvious. Alright, so, here's just a quick visual reminder for all the weapons we have available. I'm gonna try not to be too obvious with my choices, but, like, clearly I'm not going for the bell first. Well, I mean, obviously, it's in the channel name, so let's go for the- let's go for the Masamune. Wow. It's, it's cool katana, come you're on. You're acknowledging the Masamune part of your username. I mean, this is where that comes from, so... Alright, so, cool katana. Uh, let's see. Cool dagger. Alright, yes. Assassin's dagger. The dagger for assassins. The dagger what assassins wield. Well, actually, no. Only one assassin. Alright, and let's go for the lance. I was tempted to go for the axe, but... I don't think I'm using Berserker soon, so we'll wait on that one. Alright, so that's three weapons. I won't even test the waters to see the other ones. I will respect the tablets and what they've done for me. Don't want them getting angry with me. So, this is the only time you need to visit the sealed temple. Because once you complete this task... X-Death will command his many minions to kill us. Looking like a fucking Showa-era Kamen Rider movie right now. Alright, every one of these guys is going to introduce themselves when they come on screen. <laughs> I know they meant, like, you know, deploy us, sir, but, like, let us go! I'm fucking sick of it here. I hate the rift so much. Alright, so, if you just want to proceed to the end game. At any point, you are allowed to go to the Void over Castle Tycoon, or where it was at one point, and just go to the Rift. I would not recommend doing that now. You will probably die. Uh, but yeah, for the time being, though, that's not what we're going to do next time, because we've got some un weapons to unseal. So next time, let's go to the second of the four shrines, and uh, see about unlocking another new power from there.